So today I'm going to demonstrate a replication of one pulp to another pulp. And I have two pulp instances running, uh, one on port 8080. I'm going to refer to this as the main pulp. And another one that's running on port 5001. And that's going to be my replica pulp. Uh, on my main pulp, I have three repositories. One of them is the Zoo RPM repo and two uh, file repos. And right now on the replica pulp, there is no content. <clears throat> I wrote a little script to help us along. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create an upstream pulp config on the replica pulp. So I'm making an API call to uh, the API on port 5001. And I'm providing a, a configuration that's similar to what we are able to provide to the pulp CLI. So I'm providing here a username and a password, but a client key and certificate could be used instead. So I've made this call. And I want you to notice that there is this labels field. And right now, it's set to null. And we're going to come back to that uh, later. So the next thing you can do after you've created this configuration is just call the replicate uh, API, which is going to replicate the repositories. Um, the replication happens as a set of uh, tasks that are tracked as part of a task group. So we're going to take a look at this task group. Um, all the tasks have been completed. Um, and so then now we can um, make an update to our configuration. But before we do that, we will take a look at this page to see that we have the same repositories here. We have an RPM repository and two file repositories that are on the replica pulp now. Um, so now I'm going to update the configuration and provided a label uh, foo. And we're going to do that now. And so now the labels uh, set, uh, attribute of the upstream pulp configuration is set to foo. And we will now use the pulp CLI to take a look at the RPM distributions on our main pulp. And what we will see here is that this one distribution that we have, it has a pulp label set. And pulp labels are key value pairs. And there is a label with a key uh, foo. So now we're going to make another API call to the replica pulp. And we're going to tell it to replicate with its new configuration. And another task group is dispatched. Um, and what we'll notice is that the file repositories got removed. And only the RPM repository remains because it was the only one that had the label on it. And my machine just froze. So I don't know if you're even hearing this. Yeah, we're hearing you. This is the end of the demo. Um, the main thing I wanted to point out is that whenever a label is set on the uh, upstream pulp config, that label is used to match distributions that will be replicated. Uh, any distributions uh, and repositories on the replica pulp that don't match that criteria will be then removed from the replica pulp during the replication task. And that's it. Okay, great. Um, and the I, one of the ideas here, um, I believe, is to um, allow the main pulp to be replicated to multiple um, geographies with multiple points of presence. And you might want to use these labels to um, indicate Defense. which repositories are going to end up in which geos. That's right. OK, perfect. Thanks a bunch for the demo. I'm going to stop the recording now.